When I started working on Kiss Kid back in 2017, I, I really didn't think that it would become so popular. Now it's really staggering how many people are using and downloading and developing and contributing back to Kiss Kit as well. Kiss Kit was the first fully accessible, open source, Python-based quantum SDK. Now it's probably the most popular in the world with 550,000 users, three trillion circuits run, over 500 open source contributors and 8,000 code commits. And now with the Kiss Kit 1.0 release, nothing else comes close. IBM's first cloud-enabled quantum computer had five qubits and could run a few dozen gates. Today's Eagle and Heron processors have over 100 qubits and can run circuits with thousands of gates. In 2023, the IBM quantum utility experiment showed that devices with 100 plus qubits can solve problems beyond exact classical methods. Now quantum computational scientists in chemistry, condensed matter physics, and material science can use these systems to explore meaningful scientific problems. Kiskit version 1 works alongside our Quantum System 1 architecture and its utility scale processors. With future releases, it will become the first software capable of exploiting the modularity of our Quantum System 2 architecture. Computational workflow must be an iterative and efficient process, and it needs to allow users to operate at the abstraction level that's most suitable to them. Whether it's a researcher working at the circuit level or an application developer, Kiskit manages these abstraction levels seamlessly so users don't have to we can do more with larger circuits. Binding and transpiling are faster. Memory usage is lower. Users are iterating on 100 qubit circuits in seconds or minutes, not hours. The transpiler is much more powerful in terms of the operations it can synthesize and the gate sets and connectivities that it can target. It can do much more with classical logic too, which enables much more sophisticated dynamic circuits. The V2 primitives make it easy to run computational tasks with built-in error mitigation. The updated transpiler streamlines the process of optimizing circuits so you can extract more value from the hardware. Kiskit is entering a new phase of stability and reliability with 18 month support cycles for each major version. When you think of quantum computing, it's directly tied to Kiskit. The connection of the kind of interface to Python makes it a lot easier to understand. I thought it wouldn't be easy to get started, but it really was. We are trying to target business-driven applications that have computational challenges. For example, as there's more renewable energy injected into the electrical grid, we're going to reach computational challenges. The benefit of using Kiskit is uh, that it's uh, kind of a one-stop shop from the easy algorithm to the utility scale. We face challenges in the new energy systems where we have unpredictable or less predictable infeed. Now, with the release of Kiskit 1.0, the ability to run utility scale experiments uh, brings us into a regime which uh, wasn't possible before. We've got the biggest ecosystem, the most developer resources. If you're doing quantum, Kiskit is the obvious choice. Kiskit has come of age. This is the software that will take us through the era of quantum utility and beyond. <laughs>